And my mum called at like 1am the minute I'd heard Tums say it's your mum and it just immediately felt sick and she was just crying and she said we've left the house we don't know where we're going we're in the street and we don't know what to do and it was trying to get the information of like what has actually happened I called my sister and my aunt to say there's 100 people on our home phone them as well and we'll kind of create a picture um, and then it seemed that just with the, the stress of everything people are just kind of up to high do and one person panics another person that panics another person that the area's going to get hit and we need to get out but they went back to the home what was really difficult was they were very much asking me what they should do and I don't know what to do to keep them safe so that feeling of helplessness is uh, really poignant right now and Hamza was talking the other day about how you explain all of this to your youngest Mm -hmm. Um, we haven't heard from you on that Mm -hmm. and that certainly was an emotional moment for him Mm -hmm. How, how is that as a family trying to explain that to both your children but particularly your youngest um, my youngest is asked, why is mummy always crying? So, you know, I just said I miss my mum and, you know, you miss me and I miss granny and, and we'll see her soon, but sometimes I miss her a lot. So I, she explains that it's actually worse for my 14-year-old because she can see everything and she asks me if they'll be okay and I say yes. She'll ask me if they'll get out. I say yes and she's like, you don't believe that, do you? So I'm really trying to... And I do believe that. I do believe they'll get out and I do believe they'll stay safe and I just... I believe they'll come home. So I'm being positive... And how have those interactions gone with the Foreign Office about trying to get your family out mm-hmm. there? Has there been any developments on that front since right. we last spoke? Mm-hmm. Right now, just the negotiations are happening. Um, they've said to me that, look, it's personal for them. They have staff there and it's they desperately want people out. But the negotiations are ongoing. And as much as I, I truly believe that, it, it's not a comfort to myself. Um, I just want them out there as soon as possible.